Wednesday. Hi, can I help you? Hi, can I get a Whopper combo? And what's the drink with that? Uh, Fruitopia, please. Anything else? No, thank you. Total six seventy-seven. Come on up. Thank you. Very polite Canadians. Thank you. Guys, we're just getting a bunch of food right now. We're loaded up here at Arby's, it looks like. Oh, don't, don't get my messy car in this. 40 minutes later. Are people driving slow and like idiots? Are you throwing tube? Yeah. <clears throat> and you got your ultralight for sure, oh, yeah. eh? Throwing tubes galore. You're about to nail blue girls. I'm gonna start off with a little frog, guys. Well, it doesn't really look like a good frog spot. Oh, way at the end there, I guess, under that tree. This guy has a wild heist. The wild heist? All right, guys, professional angler, Brandon McIntosh. Buddy, can I get your autograph? Maybe one day. Maybe, Maybe one, one day. One day. Right. Let's give her a dangle. Tell you what, you, you get a fish from out under that tree, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. First cast here of the day. Bluebird skies, super sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Not really what you want for bass fishing. What? Oh, a little ripple under the tree. I was nowhere near it. I need a bait caster to get under there. Sounds like a job. Oh, that's the best I can do. I'll pull it out of the tree if he's there. Oh no, I'm hung on a tree. I'm gonna try to do this stuff. Think I'll get him? I'm just dangling it on I've top of the it. water. I've seen it. It's just hanging off a tree and dangling right on top of the water surface. At this point in the summer, uh, Frick, I'm so wrong. pissed. I wish I didn't put on the frog. Whatever. Yeah, it's a little too open for it. But there is shade and there is still lots of weeds, so you never know. I need a swim bait. Tell you what, I'll join you on the frog and mission, bud. Oh! We just missed one. Got him! Fish on! Oh. Woo! That was sick. Missed him the first time, guys. Came back in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, he went right into the slop. Actually, not a bad one, yeah. That's a nice two and a half pounder. Oh, yeah. yes. I think what they refer to as a slaunch donkey. That is a slaunch donkey right there. Oh, man. He's stuck in the weeds. I got a huge. Oh, there he's out. All right. That's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Oh. Oh, no. Please stay on, baby. Oh. Oh, no. Slippery. Whoa, that's gross. There we go, that's guys. Nice color, dude. Oh, that is a really color, nice dude. fish. Dude. Thank you. Look, look at where you hooked him, <laughs> Guys, you guys seen him? He missed him the first time. He missed him the first time. Came back and smashed it. That was sick. Cast it around the point of the weeds. Cool. Right on. I'm about to weigh him up, see how much he weighs. All right. So. Yeah, he looks like a two and a halfer. Two, 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 two. All right, I'm gonna take a quick pick. Guys, we're gonna release this beautiful bucket's mouth. Oh, yes. Thank you for destroying my froggy. First fish today, I've been fishing five minutes. Good sign. That is a good sign, although it could be a curse. Why would you even say that? Oh my God, sorry. 
Get out of here. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Some movie quotes. So guys, first fish of the day right there. Now I'm gonna try the other side. It's pretty much the only weed growth. Nice, I seen that. Oh yes. I'm out. <laughs> Nice. Well, you're on board. Yeah, buddy. On the on the stanko? Yeah, waited. Is that watermelon? Uh, I'm not too sure. The shaky yeah. head? It's like a craw color. I'd say that's five, six pounds, oh, easily. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Good job, brother. You, should, you, you, you keeping? No. <laughs> you should throw out a wall mount. Oh you yeah. You should. All right, she's gone. All right, buddy. First cast doesn't succeed, guys. Cast right back in there. Keep twitching her. Eventually, you're gonna piss one of them off. You'll get a hit. There's a lot of tiny bass fry. Oh, I just missed one. And now I'm in the freaking tree. All right, guys. So I just switched to spinner bait. I believe this is a booyah. No, oh, it's a Eco Pro tungsten. Either way, guys. It's a nice flashy spinner bait down there. Silver willow blades. Got nice, lots of sun, so hopefully this produces a nice bass. Yep. Whose rod is this? Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here. That's the best shirt ever. What? Oh. Let me go for that. Lift your line. Oh, this is this line? What the hell? <laughs> Let me go for that. Oh, of course I took off my frog. Switching back to top water. My bread and butter. That's how I caught all my fish this year. Top water? Yeah. Even that first fish today. Huh? I should have. No. All frogs. Ready? Just got 20 bucks on the first four pounder today. Alright guys, I see my first gar. Actually, let me show you what I'm using. <clears throat> yes, this is a piece of rubbish. Hopefully it'll catch the pike's teeth with a huge 5 aught hook. Doesn't matter what hook you use, just something for weight. And it's going to act like a little minnow swimming through the water. So nothing there. Oh, there's big in here, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, Looks like a piece of uh, carpet off a boat. Just so I can get the teeth of these gar pikes stuck. You just want to get them to stick on. Because you're not using the hook. Oh, 
There we go. So just a little piece of carpet looking like a minnow. All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys will update. First fish of the day came in like the first five minutes of the day. Nice two pound, 2.2 largemouth bass off the frog. So far, we've been fishing for about 45, maybe an hour, maybe more. I think an hour and a half with no bites. We are getting lots of gar pike that will come up and hit the bass baits, but they don't really get it in the mouth. They have more of a long nose mouth. Looks like a legit alien. Either way, I threw on a little piece of carpet. You guys seen how I rigged it up there. I'm going to try to target these gar pikes. Hopefully, I can catch a couple. I used to catch them this way back in the past, so hopefully their teeth get stuck in the carpet mesh and I can land one. You guys can just see Lake St. Clair right behind me. Oh my god, there's like five dark bikes right here. Oh my god. Got him. Oh my god, missed him. Got him. Oh my god. This is actually so fun. Just fishing for gars. Got him! Got him! Got him! Fish! Oh yes! Here we go! First gar! First gar of the day! It's a big one! Oh no! That was cool to see him though. Got him. Another one. Yeah. Gar pike catching cook? Got him. <laughs> no, he's gone. For real. Instead of just watching. Oh my god. You see this? This is the damn plethora. Plethora. Oh. You see how they hit, eh? I can't get him to stick. Plethora. Oh! <laughs> They love it when you just rip it. Really causes a nice reaction strike. And guys, we're just sight fishing them here. Literally sight fishing them. Polarized glasses. They're in this clear water. This is nuts. All right, guys, that's gonna end off today's episode. You guys seen that? We just we got here in the first five minutes. I got that bass on the top water bass on the top water frog, and then here we are. We're just chilling out, pretty much ready to end off the day. You guys seen all those gar? It's just pretty much gar pike everywhere. Gar pike are plentiful, guys. Those fish are just so aggressive. I'm telling you, crazy species of fish. They do look like uh, little alligators. Literally, that's probably why they get their name, alligator gar, guys. Thanks for watching today's episode. That was fun to film, fun to do. I wish I could have landed one, but oh well. We got one bass. Chris got a bass. I don't know what else. Guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Have a beautiful night. Peace.